three, two, one. Hey everybody, this is Mike at ASR Outdoors. I'm gonna show you a little prototype. I'm gonna keep this thing under five minutes, I promise you. But that's about all I've got, I'm tired. Plus I still got five in the heat treat oven. That's still got two more hours after this cycle is over with. Um, but anyway, it's a prototype knife that I'm working on that is going to be my signature knife, I believe. This knife here is everything that I've ever wanted in and unintentionally became everything that I wanted. Um, I wanted a 3 16th inch blade, 3 16th inch spine. I wanted it to be under nine inches. It's shy by a sixteenth of an inch. I wanted my cutting edge to be one and a half inches wide at the fattest point. Um, just shy, sixteenth of an inch. I wanted the cutting blade to be under four inches. Just one sixteenth of an inch short. It's a little bit less than a sixteenth, but my eyesight don't show that good. I wanted it to have enough girth at the top if I needed to baton with it, I could, but I did not want to have a Scandi grind thrown into it or a saber grind and just have that, just it was not something that I wanted. So if you notice what I've done, I took a full flat grind all the way down to one eighth of an inch thick, one eighth of an inch thick right here in the center. It's not one eighth now, it's microed, very sharp. But anyway, I wanted it to be one eighth and then I would start from there after I'd done the heat treating. I went ahead and I done the heat treating on it and then I put a double bevel grind. There is two grinds inside of this cuts like a dream, cuts an apple like you wouldn't believe, cuts potatoes like you wouldn't believe, cuts roast like you wouldn't believe. It even skinned out two of the rabbits. No, it didn't. I'm just kidding. It processes very well. I um, won't tell you about all the stuff that I've done with it just this afternoon. I've just finished it up. I'm going to be testing it. Then I'm going to be sending it off to be tested. And we're going to get the final results back and see if this is exactly what would be sellable. And then we're going to start mass producing this style right here, along with the bushcraft knife. The bushcraft knife. A couple of you guys have purchased some of those from me um, locally. Um, the sales have been huge. Huge. Especially for a guy like me. Um, I really just a few minutes ago. I mean, they've been very good to me. Um, but anyway, let's just say that's a little prototype that's coming up, something that you can be looking at, seeing on my side. Um, I've got to get a sheath made. Um, I'll probably make me one up here real soon with it and get it put in and start doing a little bit of bushcrafting with it, test it, and then send it off and let them test it and then maybe send it to another guy and let him test it. Um, I really want to get some feedback on that double bevel grind that almost becomes a convex, but it still doesn't. Um, it cuts very well. Um, that's really all I got to say about this here, and I'm at like four minutes, so I got a minute I can sing to you guys. No, I'm really not gonna sing to you. I think the last time I did that, Nobody really caught that it was me singing, and I was so glad. But anyway, here's another little prototype that you guys have seen before. My wife has taken over this one. This is called the Southern Ness. Ness. The Southern Ness. Southern Ness. Anyway, um, it's a prototype. Um, uh, it's a saberish grind. Really not that pleased with it, but she loves it for the kitchen. Um, she cuts all of her meats, chickens. And she was making chicken wings the other day, and she said, Oh, it just pops them so well. Um, I'm just filling this video up for five minutes, guys. I'm not going to lie to you, just so I can say I did it in five minutes. But there we go. Guys, I appreciate everything you do, and I'll catch you guys on another video. Thanks for watching.